Hey, I wanted to give you guys a quick review of SOC 200 from OFSEC. It leads into the OSDA certification, the OFSEC Defense Analyst. I recently passed and so I wanted to give you a little bit of my experience on how I prepared to take the exam, uh, things that I I'm glad that I did and just kind of give you an overall understanding of the course and the certification itself. So let's get to it. So in the course itself, OFSEC has developed a curriculum that helps you identify red team or offensive security tactics that maybe an adversary would be doing on your system and then turns around and helps you understand how you can see that from a blue team perspective. They go through event logs, they go through understanding how an adversary has done a certain process, they talk a lot about MITRE, and the beginning of the course is really geared towards getting beginners a basic understanding of how an adversary is going to get into your system and how to identify what they're doing and what they've done. And then there's a huge portion of the course that goes into your security information event management system, so understanding how to filter through certain event logs, basically breaking it down in a way that's easy and human digestible to see where the adversary has come in rather than monotonously going through a bunch of uh, logs and things like that. So for myself, I have both a defensive and offensive security background. That allowed me to kind of come into the course. There was a lot of material that I did glance over and just make sure that there wasn't anything that I was missing. But some of the topics I really didn't dive too deeply into because I already had experience with them. I understood the general gist of what the course chapter was trying to get at. So I didn't really spend too much time on that. Really where I spent most of my time was diving into the chapters that had to do with those sims. I worked through understanding filters, understanding queer languages that they were discussing specifically, and I also went through a lot of the lab challenges, and the SOC 200 course comes with the OFSEC Academy video recordings that helped me understand exactly what to look for when I was looking at the lab environments. So I would sit down and I would do a lab, and then I would go to the OSA modules and review how the OFSEC instructors were actually teaching that module to get a better understanding of what they were teaching but also to see if I had missed anything and that helped me get into that mindset of how to prepare for the exam itself. Truth be told I really didn't spend a lot of time doing the labs. I think I maybe did them once or twice with focusing on the major labs that I knew would be most closely related to the exam and then prior to the exam I wrote down some things that I knew had come up very frequently in my lab experiences and in the OSA modules. I kept that on me when I took the exam so that I could create a better flow of how I was tackling each stage of the exam. I can't really speak much to the exam itself, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was the perfect amount of difficulty for the course itself. I didn't think it was too challenging, but I also didn't think it was an easy pass. I started my exam at 10, took a quick lunch break for about 10 minutes at about one o'clock. I had another small break towards the end of the afternoon and then finally I took about a three hour break towards dinner time. I worked until about 11 o'clock that evening then went to go to sleep until about 5 30 and then finally I ended my exam about 9 20 the next day. So that report was submitted Saturday morning. The following Saturday evening I got my congratulations email that said that I had officially passed. It was pretty nerve-wracking waiting for the final results because with this exam it really hinged on the report itself and how you could articulate what had happened on the machine. But at the end of it all, I thought it was a great course. I thought it was a great exam. I really enjoyed it. I think OFSEC did a really good job at trying to cater to a blue team mindset. I'm super happy I passed. If you like OFSEC courses and or you're interested in taking a blue team certification slash course, definitely check out the OSDA. I am really excited to teach it to you soon.